Hi, I'm the weight loss champion Chuck Carroll, and this is the Exam Room Revisited. And today we're looking at what NFL players eat when they're eating a plant-based diet. When DJ Swearinger was playing for the NFL team here in Washington, D.C., I had the opportunity to interview him at the team's training facility, and he was so committed to the diet that he had them install a smoothie station right there. So naturally, I asked him to make me one. So what do we have in here, man? You yeah, got so, frozen pre -packs? Yeah, man, we got the, the strawberries, the frozen bananas, the frozen mangoes. Down here we got the frozen peaches, man. raspberries, pineapples. pineapples. Yeah. So I usually go with that. So I got my mangoes. Got my pineapples, two bananas, cucumbers, almond milk. And I got my seeds. There you go. My chia seeds. Oh, they and I, sometimes I do the almond butter as well. A little extra protein. Yeah, a little extra protein. Yeah. Now, did they keep the uh, chia seeds stocked here just for you? Yeah. I, I, told him, I told him, I was like, you got to give me some chia seeds here. Did you put that in your contract? Nah, like, I'm not contract, signing until nah. <laughs> I get my chia seeds. Yeah, man. Got to have it all. You ever give Coach Gruden a smoothie? He Sometimes he comes over and asks me what I'm making, but I'm all uh, telling the same thing I'm making in camp. Okay. <laughs> So they usually have my kale sitting right here. Okay. But I guess they didn't have it today. Oh, they're slipping. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I don't know if I could get by without kale. Yeah. Like, I'd be crying. <laughs> when I don't have the kale, I just load up on the cu cucumbers. Okay. You know. Okay. You just go that way with it. So now, when you talk about drinking four or five, are you talking like four or five of these full ones like mm -hmm. that? Basically, a full of it comes out into four cups. Okay. So basically, a full size smoothie. Okay. I usually fill it all the way up. Right, right. And have more stuff in it with the kale. Okay. But you know, this is cool. So it's it's probably still get me three of them. Okay. Well, two because you know I'm gonna taste. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know it. That's a fancy blender like you'd see in like a Starbucks or something, yeah. man. <laughs> and you were telling me you have a, a good blender at home? Yeah, I got about four or five of them. And DJ isn't just making smoothies in between practices. He's also blending up a storm at home. Got a big kitchen, man? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Two kitchens. Oh. Yeah. Okay. One just for fruits and vegetables? Uh, I guess for when my family come in, they can have one. Aha. Uh -huh. For if they don't like what we cooking. Yeah, so Thanksgiving must be pretty interesting then, huh? Yes, it was. It was. It was It was definitely interesting. Oh, look at that. That comes out at three perfectly. Yep, yep. perfectly. I got it down to a T, man. I'm you do? Doing it so... That's right. Doing it since camp. <laughs> Chef Swearinger over here. Yeah, man. I like how you also clean up after yourself. That's nice. Yep. Somebody got to do it. A good man. There are many offices where people would just leave it right there, and that's somebody else's problem. I already know it. Appreciate you. You know it. You're like a smoothie barista. All right, so here we are. We've got the uh, the smoothies here. Yep, yep. Cheers. Thank you very much. Cheers. Let's take a sip here. That's all right. Uh, you like that? That's all right. It's... The almond butter and the cucumber really stand out to me. Mm -hmm. That's all right. And you, man, this is thick too. And you yeah. need to drink four or five before practice. Four, four. I, I usually drink. I make them. I usually drink at least. Whatever gets me full. So whether it's two or three, I drink two or three. I don't usually drink all four of them. I drink about two or three. Enough that I feel like I got enough on my stomach and then I save the one for right afterwards. Man, I'd be floating. <laughs> <laughs> DJ's motivation for adopting a plant-based diet initially wasn't his performance. 
Instead, it was something much greater. How'd you, how'd you come about all of this? Um, I came about it. Uh, Eric, Berry, Eric Berry beat his cancer. Um, he basically, it was his testimony for, for beating his cancer was a lot of his diet. You know, the doctor said his diet was so strong that it basically helped him beat off his cancer that he had. Um, that was in 2015, and uh, once, once he told me that, and um, I basically went to basically his same diet in 2015, um, chicken and fish, um, staying away from fried foods, and things like that, and um, sort of over the years, you know, I just sort of, shortly but surely just weeded out the fish, weeded out the, not the fish, but weeded out the, the chicken and the turkey, and um, just went totally to try to go plant-based. Some athletes will tell you they're afraid to adopt a plant-based diet because they won't get enough calories and be able to maintain their muscle mass. But for DJ, that wasn't a problem. As a matter of fact, he said not only was he able to maintain that muscle mass, other gains that he got from the anti-inflammatory properties of the plant-based diet gave him a serious leg up on the competition. You know, talking to Trent Williams earlier this year, he went vegan during training camp. He yep. said he, he couldn't sustain it because yeah. he just couldn't keep the weight on. But, you know, you're not playing the line. You're a safety, uh -huh. so it's a little bit easier for yep. you, right? Yep, yep, it is. It is. Um, but, um, you know, bigger guys, you know, they you know, tend to have to be a little bigger. You know, I'm a smaller guy, so my weight didn't, didn't really uh, go, go south on me like that. Um, my biggest thing, my weight went down when I started the chicken and fish in 2015. You know, I was about 215, and uh, when I did that, I got down about 206, 205, and I've uh, been around that, that weight ever since. And um, this year, uh, eliminating everything else put me around about 202. So. My way is fine. Coaches are okay with that. Training staff oh, is yeah. cool with oh, that. Oh yeah, as long as I'm making plays, man, they good. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about that. I mean, have you noticed a boost in your performance now that you've got your diet cleaned up? Um, I noticed a boost in like my energy. You know, my energy is definitely different. You know, I don't have those like those saggy days anymore. Like you know, oh, man, I wish I could stay in the bed. You know, I never had that. My energy is always good. Um, stomach cramps don't really have those. You know, um, I just feel fresh you know I feel way better than I once did. I'd imagine it also helps with recovery time as well. Oh right? yes for sure and I think that's one big thing that has helped me a lot um, you know with um, just from researching and doctors and stuff a lot of the you know the the meat and uh, <clears throat> you know the processed foods they have the information in it you know when you eat those things that's what you know boosts your inflammation in your body so um, I try to stay away from those things and um, over Week by week, you know, I can tell a difference, you know. Some things that were bothering me last year, the year before, you know, don't really bother me that much. Yeah, so we're in week 16 now, man. Yeah. Season's almost up. And yep. compare uh, how your body feels week 16 this year to your rookie year. Oh, man. I uh, remember my rookie year, I was ready to get PRPs in my hamstrings, <laughs> uh, fix your shoulder up. Uh, but now, man, I feel I feel feel like I'm, you know, healthy, you know, healthy as I've ever been this late in the season for sure. Facts, <laughs> for sure. And um, you know, I, it's, I test as a testimony to my diet, you know, and um, to me taking care of my body. And there are others who will back up exactly what DJ said, including the greatest quarterback of all time, Tom Brady. I interviewed his personal chef, Alan Campbell, at one point, and he talked about his tips for optimizing nutrition and athletic performance. And one of his first pieces of advice was to go big early. I always look at um, the bigger meals coming earlier in the day. So obviously you want to have nutrient-dense, nutrient-packed food throughout the day. But I feel like in order to really give yourself that fuel you need, the same way you put gas into a car before you drive it for a long distance, get that nice, hearty, nourishing meal earlier in the day. And, you know, think about, obviously it doesn't give you, um, some people do this, some people will have a nice healthy breakfast and justify having a not so healthy lunch or dinner. That's not what I'm saying. Um, but really focus on getting the core of the nutrients earlier in the day. And maybe that will change your energy levels. Maybe that will change your, your thinking and your, you know, many, many things. Allen says the benefits don't just stop on the football field. They also extend to the baseball diamond where he's working with a number of major leaguers. And with baseball players, those guys, 
they have it tough. <laughs> yeah. They can be in a game until one in the morning and then they're sleeping until 11. So it's really, it's customized to each individual. Some of these guys, these baseball players, they don't want to have breakfast. You know, they want their biggest meal to be lunch or to be dinner. And if they're not waking up until 11 because they had a game that they didn't get home until one, um, you know, they might have a big breakfast and they might not. So it's really, it's really depends on the player. But these benefits aren't just for athletes. They're for everyone, including you. Let's highlight what you're already eating and let's add something to it that's delicious that will substitute what you think, um, you know, that piece of, of meat might be giving you. There are plenty of others who are also exploring the idea of optimizing performance through optimal nutrition. And that includes Brittany Dunn, who is a sports dietitian and performance chef with the Philadelphia Eagles. Up in Chicago, quarterback Justin Fields, also eating a plant-based diet. Same for Tyron Matthew in Kansas City. And to the idea that you can't maintain enough weight, enough muscle mass eating a plant-based diet, well, just try telling that to Lawrence Guy of the New England Patriots. All six feet, four inches, and 315 pounds of him. If your health IQ was a couple of points higher than it was a few minutes ago, go ahead and like this video or subscribe to the YouTube channel. And to take it even higher, head over to Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your favorite shows. Look for the exam room by the Physicians Committee. Hit the subscribe button there as well and help to make your world a healthier place.